What's up everybody? This is John here at Metal Aviation and the flying season is finally upon us here in Ohio. So what I decided to do was pick up a Centec 900 jump pack from Harbor Freight and see if I can use it as a field charger to see if it can charge enough batteries to make it worth taking it to the field and using it um, to power my chargers, not really as a charger. Um, I like it because it's small. It's heavy because it's got a battery in it, but it's still small. It has a handle on it, very easy to transport. What I used to do is use a full-size marine battery, uh, and that was just a pain to take to the to the to the club or anywhere to haul it around because it was so big. Even though I had a case for it, it just was big and bulky. Um, but it would do the trick, man. I could charge all day. I don't think I ever killed that battery at the field. Uh, so that's a great alternative. And I'm not saying I'm not going to do that this year, but I'm going to give the old Sentec a try. My man Helicopter Jim at the club was using something similar to this. Then he bought some crazy thing this year that's like you know, five hundred dollars. That's completely awesome, but it's a little bit more than I want to spend to charge at the field. This bad boy right here with my Harbor Freight frequent flyer card, and I think there was a sale going on. I got it out the door. I think it was either sixty-five or seventy bucks out the door. We'll just say seventy, you know, to make it make it you know close to what it really was. So seventy bucks for this bad boy out the door. I think regular price is like $79.99 or $74.99 or whatever. So I save like five, ten bucks with tax and everything, you know. So but I figured I'd give it a shot, right? Because Helicopter Jim was using one. He was getting a decent amount of charges out of the one he had. So I figured, what the hell, let me, let me try this. Because I don't want to carry that big ass marine battery to the field anymore. And if I can get Man, I mean, ideally, I'd like to get like eight batteries charged off this, but I think that's unrealistic. If I can get five to six, I'd be cool. I mean, I'm cool with that. I'll take five batteries to the field, charge five batteries, fly them again. That's going to give me, you know, what, five batteries going to give me 25 minutes of flight time. Between BSing with everybody and, and charging and all that, that that's plenty, right? So um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the field and charge at the field, right? We're not going to do something here because that could be a skewed test, right? I could be scamming all my loyal viewers. So we'll go to, to Rao House Field, which is Hank's Hobby Hangar. That's the field there. And we are going to fly some planes, charge the batteries, fly them, and monitor the situation and see what we come up with and see if the Centec 900 is worth the 70 bucks. To use as a charger. Now we want it, we don't want to under undersell or we don't want to diss the charger, thinking that it can only be used as like a battery pack for our chargers. He calling it a charger, it's a jump starter, but you know what I'm saying. So we turn this bad boy on. It's got some other features. It's got a USB port, right? So you can charge your phone on here as well. That's cool. I can dig that. It's also got a light, a flashing mode, and then off. I don't really see what use the light is, to be honest. Like maybe if I'm up right on the side of the road and I, I can hit that and someone can see that and come help me out. But hey, it's on there. It can't hurt, right? And then we have two 12-volt uh, ports that you can plug your chargers into or whatever you want. So uh, that's pretty much it. And of course, we have our clamps to clamp it to your car battery. If your battery dies, you can still use it as that, right? So... Um, before we go out to the field, though, I did a little preliminary testing on it because my main concern was recharging this. I know that these chargers take a long-ass time to charge. So the only downfall in my mind here was that charging this back up may take a while. At least with a marine battery, you can buy a good charger. And, of course, now it's going to cost you more money as well. But you can buy a good charger, and you can charge a marine battery from its lowest point to peak charge ready to roll 10 12 hours right with a good charger um i was my concern was with this when reading the manual was that it, it, the charge time was going to suck and it does i can confirm that right now before we even go to the field that this thing when it gets down to its lowest point to charge it back up the full charge ready to go is like 30 hours and to, I mean, to me that's almost a deal breaker um because what if you want to fly one day somewhere that you're going to need this and then to fly the next day? By the time you get home, plug this thing in, it's not going to be charged the next day. So that is the downfall right off the top is this thing takes like 30 hours to charge at its lowest, you know, when you suck it down to its lowest point. So we'll go to the field and see how many batteries we can charge. And we already know that the recharge is going to suck. But let's see if it if it does charge, you know, up to maybe eight batteries in the field. If that's the case, I still think I'll probably keep it because... Most of the time, I'll be flying at the field that has some type of electricity there. So 
if this bad boy can get you know six batteries or so you know we, it may, i might be in if not i'll still use it as a jump charger you know a jump starter so you know i can't lose so anyway let's go over and head to the field and see what this bad boy can do